Hello, beautiful people. This is going to be a top five list of vegetables that are highest in choline. Now, I recorded a number of vegetables and I split them into three different groups and also recorded the different macronutrients of each food. And I got this information from a website called Karometer. Uh, so I looked into the information in order to provide. So now let me first start off with the standard group of vegetables from five to one. The no number five on the list is shiitake mushrooms. So for 100 grams of shiitake mushrooms, which is about 3.5 ounces, you get 36.8 milligrams of choline. Now for cauliflower, which is number four on the list, 400 grams, you get 39.1 milligrams of choline. Number three on the list is broccoli, and for 100 grams, you get 40.1 milligrams of choline. Number two, which is Brussels sprouts, for 100 grams, it has 40.6 milligrams of choline. And for number one that's on the list, it is oyster mushrooms. Raw oyster mushrooms for 100 milligrams is 48.7 milligrams of choline. So the next group that's on the list is nuts and seeds. And the fifth highest nut or seed that's on the list is walnuts. For 100 grams, you get 39.2 milligrams of choline. Number four that's on the list is almonds. And 400 grams of almonds, you get approximately 52.1 milligrams of choline. Number three is cashews at 400 grams you get 61 milligrams of choline. Number two is pumpkin seeds. For 100 grams, you get about 63 milligrams per choline, for choline. Now, number one that's on the list is actually flax seeds. And for 100 grams, you get approximately 78.8 milligrams of choline. Now, the last group that's on the list is the beans and legumes. And the fifth highest bean or legume that's on the list is lima beans. So for 100 grams, you would actually get 36.3 milligrams of choline. Number four that's on the list is actually chickpeas. 400 grams, you get 42.8 milligrams of choline. For navy beans, which is number three, you would get approximately 44.7 milligrams of choline. For number two that's on the list is peanuts. And peanuts is a legume. So for 100 grams, you get 52.5 milligrams of choline. And the number one thing that's on the list is edamame, which are soybeans. And for 100 grams, you get 56.3 milligrams of choline. All right, if you watch it all the way toward the end, I want to thank you for it. But I'd also want to drop some additional information that's related to uh, high culling value for vegetables. One of the things I wanted to uh, drop down is the daily recommendation of choline. So according to the National Institutes of Health, I believe for the average male, let me see here, it's about 550 milligrams and for women is 425 milligrams. However, there's also a chart that I'm going to provide. I'm gonna provide a link where they have a chart um, that gives you the daily recommendation of choline that's based on your age and your sex. Another thing I wanna drop down is some information, some links that inspired me to look into certain foods or vegetables that are considered high in choline. So I'm going to drop those links that also have a list of the highest uh, vegetables or the vegetables that have the highest choline amount. And another thing I wanted to provide is my spreadsheet. I actually kept a record of different vegetables and put in the different macronutrients that's related to that vegetable. And I also want to pro provide that. So if anybody wants to look and press my spreadsheet and see additional information about some of the vegetables that were not within the top five list, but still were recorded. I'll provide that link as well. Other than that, uh, yeah, you guys have a good day. Bye.